Thanks to Greg at EgoSoft for providing me with the keys to the X4 Tides of Avarice, Cradle of Humanity, and Split Vendetta expansions. Space. It's pretty big, and there's a lot of it. These are the voyages of Captain Sokka. My mission? To start with one ship and 10,000 credits and make a name for myself. Will I trade? Will I fight? I don't know. But join me, won't you? This is X4, a roleplay series. Ho, oh, open market. Well, I saw the Talati uh, trading station is under assault, but I had no clue that open market meant completely open to the Xenon. Multiple Ks, and I believe one I here. Let's open fire on this K, make sure that we can take them down one at a time and watch that crossfire. We have a little bit of shield damage. I imagine there's gonna be a lot of Graviton fire here warming up that main cannon. And skadoosh! Yeah, chewing into those Ks. Luckily, if we can catch the K unaware, uh, we'll be able to take them down quick. Uh, we need to make sure that the eye is taken care of as well. I believe he is hiding behind the ring of that Talati base. Uh, one good thing that I think is going to happen is we're going to start getting... Goodbye. We're going to start getting some notifications from the Talati about aid and help. And we're going to have a lot of drops to pick up as well. We just need to be careful looking at the left-hand side of the HUD. I mean, there is a lot of Ks there, but a few are taking damage from the station itself. So that's going to help. But we are doing the majority of the work with our main cannon. The Hong is doing the work. Shields have returned to normal. One more K almost down, halfway down. Yeah, I'm glad the battle group is not with us. Sayonara, sucker. All right, one more K. Another K down there. All right, who is the nearest K? Okay. No, that's a trading station. Okay. All right, 11. All right, so let's go with the ones that are the closest and try to go on the right side of this trading station and put the trading station between us and any other Ks that might be in the area. Warm up that main cannon once again, and luckily the Ks are not as maneuverable as we are, so I think we'll be okay here. A couple Ks are down. He's trying to warp away. We nailed that shield generator. Unfortunately, no hull damage. Thank you. Nice. So indeed, ooh, 400,000 from the Talati there. That's what I like to say. So money going up. We have enough for that capital section, but now is not the time uh, to go purchasing that. We have to make sure that the Talati are taken care of and can make profits. As they do, oh crap, another K right, flying overhead, 9.6, he's trying to run away. And one more K down there shooting uh, late, uh, beam turrets. We'll try to position ourselves to where we are coming behind the Ks and out of the range of the other Ks. There's a few more Ks down there on the left-hand side as well. Freaking five Ks, oh crap, they're coming across the bow. All engines full reverse. We'll, we'll try to finish this one off while we can. We still have three kilometers of wiggle room as far as our turret range is concerned. We can try to get this one down. You. You're welcome, Talati. Another 200 grand. As you can see, 526 million credits ready to go. We are ready for that capital section once we can get this Talati trading station taken care of. One more. There's a guy that was firing at us, 5.4 kilometers away. He's trying to get behind the wreck. Oh crap, and another one jumping in. So on the HUD, what do we have? Eight Ks in range? But luckily we're uh, running blocker here. That K in front of us is blocking the other one from hitting us. We'll try to strategically place ourselves in between these Ks as we move around, and luckily the ring section of the Talati trading station is pretty big. Uh, we can try to get uh, a good shot as far as that is concerned. Looking at the wreckage here. Yeah, they're wrecked a little bit, that is for sure. One more explosion and all of the wreckage with more Ks flying around. That is insane. 
This would be a good place for a salvage ship and a salvage yard, that is for sure. Get a big group of, uh, of salvagers around here. We learned the hard way that it uses up a lot of energy cells, though, and this is a standard 100% uh, sunlight output. So we would need a crap ton of solar, uh, solar panels to get those energy cells made in order to sustain it. But maybe the Talati can make some profits. Oh, yes. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take that. Another 400,000 in the bank. All right. So 18K. All right. So we've got another group. 18. There's some 13s and a 12. So let's work on these two around the right side of the ring. And another one coming into view there as well. Okay. We'll maneuver ourselves. Oh, wow. 8K. All right. <laughs> you, sir, have volunteered to be the next contestant on. You're about to get blown to smithereens. I tell you, I've, I've, I heard of open market, but I didn't know that open market meant completely open to the Xenon. Jumping in, there were a few defense platforms in here as well. I've actually cleared a few systems past uh, Zyar's Dominion, making my way to open market, another 200,000. In order to just sort of uh, stop the production of ships as best we can, there was a shipyard and a wharf in the adjacent Explosive system. Image. And I am sure that is where K. all of these Ks came from. K. As well as that I, another 6.1K right nearby. Dodging the shockwave, no damage. Yeah, once this is all said and done, we will assess damage, make sure that all of our turrets are up and running. So far, no hull damage, shields, are holding nicely. I don't want to hit those engines. I want to hit the hull. Knock it completely out. And luckily no fighter support either. These capital ships have moved in on their own. Meaning that as long as we can stay out of the range of their guns, we can take our time Explosion and imminent. snipe them from a distance. 9.6K on the next K. And we're starting to finally see some daylight around here. I'm making some money while we do it. Definitely can't complain, especially since that capital, uh, that capital section, we have to build three of them on one plot. So we're gonna need all of the money that we can get. Oh crap, fire from the top, from that K up there. We'll put it in reverse, continue working on this K that we have in our sights. Good shot in the back. Just continue moving, bobbing and weaving as best we can. Focus fire on this one before it gets away from us. So far, I'm not seeing any more Graviton fire from the top. There's a few more Gravitons, but this K has almost bit the dust. Let's go ahead and start turning. 4.7K, go turrets, go. <laughs> graviton meet Graviton. There is another K with his back to us. We'll try to get the narrow side facing him. We definitely don't want to be broadside. Oh crap, our scrapper. The knot has been destroyed thanks to a cock station. And I did see that cock station in that uh, Sokka's junkyard sector. So it looks like the, the caves are a little bit more uh, tactical as far as their positioning is concerned. We have one more at the top. There goes another one. 4K as well. So we're sort of in a circle of death. Cannons are opening up. Luckily, they uh, have the gimbling that we can open fire on it before we get our main cannons to it. We're starting to take hull damage. That is not good. Luckily, our hull is like four times as, m as strong as our shields are. So even though our shields are down, we can take a little bit of a beating. But the sooner that this K goes away, the better. Opening fire there, solid shot on the bow, and another destroyed. Hopefully we are not in range of another one. We'll let our shields come back. That blast was a little bit more uh, intense now that we didn't have shields. That Xenon defense platform out there and picking up all of the drops. This is gonna be an even more influx of cash as well, especially if there are um, set of parts that we can turn in. All right, let's assess the, oh crap, two more Ks. <sighs> I thought we were in the clear. All right, let's get around the, get around the 
Ring. Okay. There's another cave there at 9.2 kilometers. We can shoot through the ring. We are not within range of him, thankfully. So let's take care of the one at 8.6. Hopefully we're not shooting that ring section. We don't want the Talati to uh, think we are attacking them instead. And luckily the station is providing blocking for us here as well. Once that K pops his head around opening fire, luckily the crew knew not to try to shoot him through the ring. And it looks like he might be trying to make a break for it. I think not, sir. Oh, we just missed with that opening volley. Just a quick shot right there. Not a whole lot of damage from that charge up. Let's give it a proper charge up here. As that K tries to flee. Sorry. <laughs> There's a traitor that just happened to pop in right in between our firing solution. He's trying to get his turrets on target. But I think we'll be able to take care of him before he manages to orientate himself. Opening fire! Scott Douche, goodbye. Alright, one more K and he was on the left side of that ring. Let's go ahead and pull in all of these crates okay. and then take care of the K. 5.4 K away. Turrets are opening fire. Let's actually maneuver around, get on the back side of this ring so that he doesn't have a firing solution and we'll get him properly here. I tell you, it's hard to maneuver through all of this junk, but the last K is behind all of those destroyed Ks, and it looks like he's trying to make a run for it. No, 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 sir. You can't run. You can't run. Let's get in range here, warm up the big gun. We'll fire when able. Don't know if we'll be within range, but it's a free shot. We'll go ahead and take it. Good douche. Are we in range? No, it fizzled out before it got there, but we are definitely in range now. Turrets should opening fire. There we go. And he is trying to hightail it back to a defense platform or perhaps the adjoining sector. But we have destroyed the shipyard and the wharf in that adjacent sector. So if he thinks he's going to uh, get any sort of relief, he is sadly mistaken. And he's come to a complete stop. He is a sitting duck now. Opening fire. Hitting that backside solid. Yeah, there's nothing that that K can do now but read them and weep. And this will be the last K in open market. And we will have successfully defended the Talati. Good night. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and pull in all of those crates. The Talati, you may go about your business trading and repairing up your trading station. You can see on the HUD, there are a few defense platforms that we have to take care of. The system is still owned by the Talati, but just barely. So we're gonna help them out in the meantime. I will go ahead and clear out open market, but you can see a defense platform there and there. Well done, Miss Brax. I think that is all of the Xenon here in open market. And let me get you caught up to speed on what we have done since. I, you know, we're still working in Matrix, which I named Weeman after Mr. Weeman, the captain of the victory way back when. Uh, but we are almost done with our defense platform here. As far as the building is concerned, everything is built aside from the turret components, which of course Mr. Shineman is doing a run to. But we do have 215 drones ready to respond, and I think we're ready to move forward into the next sector. Uh, what I did is I basically cleaned out Zaar's Dominion 1, and then moved straight on into Family Newt, and wiped out that uh, wharf and shipyard that I was talking about. And you can see that connects right up next to Open Market, and that is where... That big battle was, and it looks like everyone is repairing up nicely. The Talati trading station looking much better than it did before. And I think this sector is free and clear of Xenon, and as you can see, that was the big goal. We overarched, started coming down, and now the northern part of the map is Xenon free. So, question is, we have a few Xenon sectors over here in Matrix 9 and 451, but they haven't really pushed into family to Kerr. And, let's see, looking at Anonymous Zura, 
The Talati station is still at full health, so they're not making a push, but I think they would be easy to take out those two sectors right there. Then we can focus on the last remaining sort of Xenon sectors, Matrix, Wretched Skies, and then the final big push through Savage Spur to get Sufune. And that will be the Xenon, at least all their sectors, taken care of. Hopefully, that, that's the big question. Next up on the docket, of course, is the Hong. What exactly do we do? I'll remove all orders and we will head home. Miss Brax, if you please, uh, there is some repairing to do. So let's get back to Argon Prime in that shipyard and go ahead and repair everything. So this was the damage after that dogfight here. So the Hong itself with its hull damage, medium turrets, the large turret, one XL engine, and some shield generators were damaged. And Miss Brax will go ahead and get the Hong moving that way for the time being. But now is the time. 542 million credits. Now that it is all said and done, now is the time to purchase that big capital segment. And I think we have to go to Holy Vision and holy crap, there is a uh, miner right next to the wharf. Let's pay him a visit, shall we? Hello, Captain and Mankel, um, Captain I. If you please and if you could, go ahead and dock and we wait at this parent and wharf, please. Fly to the following position. Confirmed. All right, thank you so much. Our parent and crew will take us to the faction representative where we can purchase that capital section and I'll send Captain I back on his way. All right, nice and easy, Captain and Mankalanx. This has been a long time coming for sure. All right, I will uh, go ahead and hop onto the landing bay and give you the go ahead to resume. I won't need your services to leave this establishment, but we have some planning to do first. And there we go, outstanding. Resume your duties if you please. And our Plotus will uh, continue mining. And let's go to our faction representative office, at least the Paranid faction representative's office, and drop 500 million credits on a capital segment. Greetings. Greetings, faction representative Almankamanstris. I've got good news. It's an honor to see you here. I'd like to buy the faction capital, please for 500 million credits. Safe journey. Thank you. Tell you what. So 45 million credits left in the bank. Uh, let's go ahead back to the uh, trading uh, corner just so I can get my bearings and then we can start planning that capital segment. Now, as far as Olmengentix uh, requests, if we were to look at our mission manager and go piece of our time, you can see that uh, we already have our plot picked out in Pious Mist 2, a 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. We need three Paranid Faction Capitals, six Paranid Disc, disc, disc Platforms, nine El con Paranid Container Storages, nine Paranid Large Domes, three docks, three piers, 180 turrets, and 180 shield generators. One thing that might trip me up here is the Paranid Disc Defense Platform and the Paranid large container storage. I've only got Argon versions of those, but a spacesuit EMP will uh, make short work of those, I think, so we can get those for free. All right, we've got three spacesuit EMPs ready to go, uh, and let me just make sure that I uh, have the correct thing on me. So three Paranid Faction Capitals we've got. We need six Paranid Disc Defense Platforms. Does this thing have a Disc Defense Platform? Possibly. That could be these things over here. Uh, we also need the Paranid Large Container Storage and the Paranid Dome. So our three spacesuit EMPs are going to be well used. Let's hop on out uh, into space and see if this wharf has any of those. You know, I didn't think about this before, <laughs> but we can't warp straight back into this parented wharf once we, once we get everything that we need to get. Uh, 
So I'm gonna have to warp to one of my other ships. Aha! Paranid Wharf. I, I saw it pop up on my scanner. So this is the... Yeah, Paranid Disk Defense Platform. And indeed, that is exactly what we need. Paranid Disk Defense Platforms. Alright, Spacesuit EMP! Spacesuit EMP. And kaboosh! Alright, we'll nuzzle on in here. Hopefully get that blueprint. It's been a while since we pilfered some blueprints, I say. Easy does it. All right, commission unlocked. That's not what we need, we need the blueprint man. Number two, there's the Paranid Disc Defense Platform Blueprint. All right, sweet, so we got that taken care of. Ooh, nice, a permanent trade subscription. Now that's cool, so now all of my traders are well aware of the Holy Order's uh, stations and exactly what prices they charge. So, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, so next up, let's look for our uh, large Paranid container storage. And we do not want to hit a habitation module. They kind of look the same. Alright, so the large container module does indeed have those red balls right there. I'm thinking this is the one. So let's go ahead and EMP this thing and get our large Paranid container storage. Ready, and... Space Duty MP! Ooh, that flew Space for a while. EMP. Boom! We cannot tolerate your actions. It's fine, we're cool. We are perfectly fine. I'm just here helping you build your capital. Yeah, we might need to cool it a bit. <laughs> And I don't see any dome sections. Oh. So we might have to go somewhere else for the Paranid Dome. Nice. There is large container storage. Might as well get the rest. Alright, trade partner added to database. That's what I like to see. Um, so, next up, we will check our mission. Make sure that everything is awesome. So, we have our capital, our disk defense platform, our large container storage, now we need Paranid Large Dome. I've never heard of that before. What does that even look like? Oh, so it is the habitation module. All right, so Paranid Large Dome has that sort of rib cage look. And I mean, this wharf has to have a habitation module, right? Those are container storages. Let's get the old geometric owl out of storage and in system here uh, so that I can move around freely from station to station and we can try to find a large habitation module. I'm thinking the Paranid Shipyard is the next logical place. Captain Rana, good to see you again. So today's mission, we are going to snoop around this shipyard and see if there are any large habitation modules and then you can go uh, back to your business here. Alright, so looking at the shipyard, these look like medium. My best hope is that this is the large habitation module and not an administrative center, uh, as the last wharf was built around the admin center, and I think that's the admin center there with those four wings. So let's hop on out. Yeah, Paranid Large Dome. That's exactly what we need. Excuse me, Paranid, don't mind me. And uh, as far as the Geometric Owl, remove all orders and assignments, and you can head on back to Argon Prime and dock back up at Sokka's Sweet Hull Parts, please. And now we can do the business. Wait for the Geometric Owl to get out of system just in Space case. Spacesuit EMP. Nice, got the large Paranid Dome, and that should be everything we need, because they didn't need specific turrets, they just needed a number of turrets and shield generators, which we have, for sure, so we can get this done. I'll go ahead. Okay, so the Hong has made it to its destination. That is our next stop here. 
All right, Miss Brax, report. We need to go in and see what is hitting that trading station hard. All right, in we go to Zyrus Dominion 10, brand new repaired ship, all turrets online, full 100% hull. Let's see what we got. Entering Zyrus Dominion 10. As expected, defense platform straight ahead. Where is the trading station? Split trading station. So that is the one that is taking the pounding. So we have more work to do over here, but I think this should be one of the last offenses on this side. So we've got that defense platform marked. It's just on the other side of our satellite. That's why we couldn't see it. And I'm scared of what is gonna be over here at this Zyar trade or split trading station. All right, we're gonna jump in. I'm expecting very similar things to open market, if I'm honest. Um, enough damage to damage the split trading station that much, it's gotta be quite a substantial fleet. And that is what I'm expecting to find here. Looks like they left the equipment dock alone, but this trading station, no worse than the wear. Attack my current. So as soon as we get a lock on something, we're going to open fire. All right, so what do we have here? Satellite. Park it. So who is opening fire on the split trading station? Zyrath Laser Towers. Oh, something got destroyed there. Curiouser and Curiouser. All right, so no worries. We can get rid of that defense platform that appeared in this sector, no worries. And then, um, civilian ship, oh, okay. So really nothing major. I was expecting a big old fleet to be here. But to be fair, a defense platform needs to be taken care of. I'll go ahead and get that taken care of and then we can get the blueprints down for that big capital sector. All right, let's take care of the light work. Coming to a stop about 10K above opening fire. And uh, yeah, let's do this thing. So one good bit of advice that I received is keep the large turrets on the enemy and get the flak on attack all enemies and uh, get the mediums on attack all enemies as well. Uh, that way, when the little ones uh, try to come play, they'll get taken care of, but the large ones will continue to focus on the station. So, thank you. And nice, finally, that defense platform is gone. Let me just use the main cannon on this little build storage and get it taken care of too. There we go, build storage is empty. There's some energy cells down there, silicon, no worries. Let's do a quick scan in the local area, make sure there are no more hidden uh, stations nearby. That may ping up with a question mark that we haven't seen before. Nope, looks fairly clear. All right, Miss Brax, you may take command once more. And because we don't need a builder and this, uh, this fort has its own uh, sort of defenses. We'll remove all orders and then have the Tiger's Claw fleet jump ahead to Zyars Dominion 1. We'll go ahead and fly wait. As a matter of fact, what we will do is we will protect this next position as we normally do, right at the gate here. And Ms. Brax, you can go ahead and join them. I think the Zyars have it from here and good. A uh, Argon construction vessel coming nearby. That may prove handy when we build our capital section, which now it's that time. So because the Paranid like everything in threes, this capital section also is perfectly divided in threes. So what I'm gonna do to save myself a lot of headache is build one third of the capital section, copy it twice, and then we'll see what our final damage is. Get your bets in now how much this thing is gonna cost to build. And there she is, our proposed capital 
sequence. So at 50%, we're looking at 34 million credits. And what I'm going to do is I will accept the 34 million credit estimate and see how many goods we can get for basically half price. Let's go ahead and assign and hire a builder. And essentially, we would like, yeah, the Holy Order of the Paranid. We would like one of those builders, if possible, please. There we go. The Paranid Heracles Sentinel on the way. And we do have a bunch of energy cells on the way. And as a matter of fact, Miss Brax, if you please, we are carrying a crap ton of energy cells. If you wouldn't mind, transfer with build storage and put in all 56,000 energy cells, if you please. All right, looks like we can actually X off some of these trades coming in. Though they will not be necessary. Uh, do we have another 10K? Let's do that. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and accept that estimate. So the Hong bringing 56,000 of those energy cells to the station. The rest are energy traders. And luckily, it's in the middle of Paranid space. So we might catch some attention. Now, if some time goes by and these deals are made and we're still not bringing in anyone else, then we'll boost the global price up to full price and try to attract some more. But sitting at 32 million extra credits, we might be able to boost that global modifier just a little bit. Not too awful much. All right, so at 70%, it's only three extra million. What if we boost it to 141? We can actually accept that estimate and get everyone in here. So now Claytronics are on the way. Good deal. Yeah, let's just keep it at 100%. We have 25 extra million in the bank. Um, and I think our energy cell delivery is uh, making up for the majority of that. So plenty of time for the Amazons to tr keep trading with the, the Terrans. And we'll get up to 400 million and pay off the curbs. How about that? Uh-oh. Something has a hold of that equipment dock. So before we go nuts, let's check out and see if maybe something moved to the equipment dock that was at that trading station. And if not, then we'll just uh, have Miss Brax continue on her way. Ah, and even a Paranid high tick trader is bringing our own Claytronics to it, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping the buy order for the Hong on. Uh, so that no one else wants to try to sell us energy cells while I run and go do this. Uh, and then if everything is awesome, we'll just uh, continue the buy order. All right, there's a split trading station. Nice and completely repaired. That's what I like to split see. Equipment dock. But this split equipment dock is half gone. And we don't know why. Surprise! All right, what do we got? Oh, it's Argon. Interesting. So the Argon and the Zyarth are not getting along. Well, that's not my circus, not my monkeys. If the Argon want to deal with that, that's fine. Uh, what is this? Okay, so this is the accelerator down to Zyarth's Dominion. All right, false alarm, no worries. Can I help? Yep, Miss Brax, you can head on to the build site with our energy cells, please. So as it now stands, Miss Brax will continue on with those energy cells. This will be the location of our next fort. And as it stands now, 26 million credits in the bank and everything is paid for. If we accept all estimates, hey, we actually got a little bit more money. So construction budgets are full. Uh, as we can see, Claytronics are coming in slowly but surely. We have all of our energy cells nearly accounted for. A few more orders continuing to come in and 40.7 million credits in the construction budget. I'm not going to accept any estimates. We'll keep um, a higher number and just recoup what is remaining, especially when the Hong drops off those 56,000 energy cells that will uh, factor in. But the capital sector is being built, old Mankintix. 
no, Kremenkin Slat. Mr. Kremenkin Slat will be very happy to know that the capital sector is being built 19 minutes until the very first piece is done. So it's going to be a waiting game for sure. Uh, I'll continue building forts. I'll continue wiping out any Xenon that we see in these local sectors. And I think next time we'll be much closer to having that defense platform done, also known as the capital. We'll try to make our way down to unchartered Xenon territory, the Matrixes. And then scale plate green, we actually found that by jumping through a wormhole, uh, a tear, and then, you know, we bamped out of that quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we need to find a way down to scale plate green. And once we get that eastern xenon push done, then we can focus on this western side, and the xenon will be sector free. At least that is the hope and goal. But thank you so much for tuning in. Very productive episode today. And I'll see you when we are a little bit further down the line. Take care.